Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Usopp constantly tells lies to either boast about his own abilities or even help someone's emotions or mood. And it's become a habit in which he constantly does this, even in situations that really aren't necessary to do it. Over the course of our story, he's told so many lies that something really unexpected happened. Many of his lies started to come true, as if it were a premonition caused by a hidden power that Usopp has, something like a special skill of observation hockey. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Usopp's lies that became real, where his clairvoyance may have come from, and what the possibility might be that this premonition or ability is involved with hockey. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like and even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it continues to motivate us to make more content. If you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. Both Without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, from a very early age, Usopp told lies to his mother who had been sick to try and cheer her up, constantly saying that pirates were attacking their village. And he said this to cheer her up because she had been sick and waiting for the return of the man she loved, Yasa, Usopp's biological father. This story has many similarities to the very famous tale of the boy who cried wolf, because when pirates really attacked the village, nobody ended up believing Usopp, but his lie ended up becoming reality. And this opened up the possibility that because as his first lie came true, this could be the first indication of some innate ability, although Usopp hadn't realized that he had this special ability. This ability or power could be said to be really similar to observation hockey, as it's said that this technique is capable of making the user able to predict the future when reaching the maximum potential of the technique. There are two cases that a person was born with observation hockey, Isa and Otohime, who were both born with this technique naturally and managed to use it in a natural and very efficient way. So this this makes it entirely possible that Usopp was born knowing how to use observation hockey. But unlike its normal functioning, where the user needs to activate it to be able to predict events, Usopp may have been able to predict the future through his imagination, almost as if the inventions of these stories created by his mind were actually a glimpse of future events, a prediction in a natural and imaginary way, causing Usopp to create real stories of events that he would then experience in the future. Now, although this is something where no other character has ever demonstrated the Ability, this might be something quite unique to Usopp, since as we've seen throughout the story of One Piece, there are characters who do have hockey and manage to use them in very unique ways. For example, Virgo managed to fuse his hockey into his entire body, and was honestly the only character that we've ever seen do this so far. And another great and more recent example is Shanks, who has such amazing future sight that he's able to nullify the ability of his opponents to use their own observation hockey. So because we've had characters with with their own unique abilities and unique styles of hockey, Usopp could be one of these individuals, being able to see the future through his very diverse and wild imagination, predicting likely his entire adventure as he tells his stories. One of the lies that Usopp told that ended up coming true is that he spent a lot of time telling his mother that there was going to be a medicine that cures all diseases. And during the Dress Rosa arc, we meet Mansheri of the Tontata tribe, the princess who ate the Chiyo Chiyo no Mi, a fruit that allows her to heal any wound with her teeth. Now, whether or not we consider this a medicine could be up for debate, but more to the point, we know that Chopper's dream is to find the cure for all diseases. Now, because we don't know if Mancheri can really treat every disease, we still know that Chopper could eventually find the cure to everything and anything that he wants to treat as a doctor. Another connection to the Tantata tribe is that their very existence is a realization of another lie that Usopp told, that there was a country inhabited only by dwarves. So again, here's another lie that Usopp Usopp told that ended up coming true. Next, let's talk about some of the lies that Usopp told Kaya that ended up becoming reality. Now, because there's a pretty large amount, we'll cover them in just a little bit of brief detail. First was the lie that there were giant goldfish that pooped out new islands. And a few chapters later, this very creature is seen where they're able to eat entire islands, and then the poop that comes out is in fact a new island. In another story, Usopp claimed that there was a Cerberus, which is a three-headed dog that guarded the underworld. 
And in the thriller Barkark, we were treated to, in fact, a real Cerberus that guarded the laboratory, guarding the entrance to Thriller Bark. Usopp also told Kaya that real dragons existed, which was proven much later during the Punk Hazard arc, where we saw two different types of scientifically created dragons. Usopp told Kuro that he was hunting and fighting a giant mole in Kaya's mansion. Episodes later, he faces Drophy, Miss Merry Christmas, who ate the Mogamogo no Mi, the mole mole fruit. Usopp says that there were abominable snowmen, and a while later, we met the Yeti Cool Brothers, who protect the gate of Eni's lobby. Being extremely large and very strong Yetis, realizing yet another lie that turned out to be true. At one point, Usopp mentions the existence of a giant condor, which matches the very description of the giant birds that Chopper finds in the Torino Kingdom during the time skip, having the very same characteristics that Usopp described. On Thriller Bar, Usopp said that he spotted a beautiful swordswoman with a lot of meat, and this was a way to get Sanji, Zoro, and Luffy's attention at the same time. A few arcs later in Dressrosa, we meet Rebecca, who is a beautiful swordswoman, and who, at one point, attracts Luffy's attention with meat. One of his most constant lies is that Usopp has 8,000 followers in the Usopp Pirates. And in the Dressrosa arc, we see him being raised up as a god by the many people that he saved. Now, it's not possible to know if there are, in fact, 8,000 people there, but it's already a considerable crowd. If we add to that the respect that Usopp gained from the dwarves and the giants, that number grows even more, which could be equal to the number that he said in his lie, making this lie come true yet again. Now, one particular story and lie that hasn't come true yet, but could come true in a future arc, is that Usopp says there is a country of snipers. Now, it might not even come in the form of a country at all, maybe just a place where these snipers are trained or something like that. This location could even possibly exist in Elbaf, or a next island where the Straw Hats can venture out, allowing Usopp to be able to strengthen himself on the island with new slingshots and various types of ammunition. Even during the One Piece film Red movie, Usopp was able to do amazing things with his hockey during the confrontation. So if Usopp managed to use these same skills that he used the movie during the actual manga and story, this may prove to further the possibility that Usopp's lies really are visions of the future. And of course, future sight is something that Luffy and Katakuri can already do, but on a much smaller scale. These two characters have the ability to predict a few seconds into the future, but rather in a linear fashion from start to finish. Usopp, on the other hand, is probably able to see the future in a much more unsubstantiated way way, where he can only see certain events in the future, and in this way, he glimpses what is possible and then uses it in his stories. But with the idea of advanced observation hockey and future sight, this is something that observation hockey really would make possible for Usopp, where he would use this technique in a more unconscious way. It has been said that observation hockey allows the user to see the future, as if one were omnipresent, but so far only a few characters can see the future in this limited way since they don't have full control control over this technique. It might even be possible that not even Shanks has complete control over his observation hockey. I mean, Luffy and Katakuri, as I previously said, have it at an advanced level, but they may not be able to use its full potential yet themselves. Now, because Usopp doesn't have full conscious and good control over the technique, he can't see the future in the same linear way that Luffy and Katakuri can. He can only see the distant future, which means that Usopp may be something rather unique. However, if Usopp were able to further develop his observation hockey. This might open up the possibility for Usopp to be able to predict the future in a much more complete way, being able to see the near future and the distant future, making Usopp incredibly powerful. This ability would even make him a better shooter than his father Yasa, because he would have the ability to predict practically every movement of his opponent, making it impossible for him to miss any shot that he makes with his slingshot. So if Usopp strives to make his observation hockey more powerful, this will make it possible for Usopp to get closer and closer to become that brave warrior of the sea that he dreams of becoming, completing that dream that he had when he was a child and that vision of the distant future. As we are heading into this final arc of One Piece, and we see more and more of Usopp's lies turn out to be true, it really means that he could be predicting future events that he will experience, and it may become something even more incredible, causing us as fans and observers to start paying a lot more attention to his lies to see which ones do come true in the future. But with all that said, my friends, we'd now love to know what you think about it. 
What do you think about this possibility of Usopp's lies really predicting the future? And what other lies do you think we have yet to see? I mean, on Wano, when Big Mom's Conqueror's Hockey was coming down, Usopp did lie and say that it was his Conqueror's Hockey. Do you think that this predicts that Usopp himself might actually have Conqueror's Hockey? And what other things do you think Usopp might lie about that we will get to see come true in this final saga of One Piece? Let us know what you think in the comments below. So as we wrap up our video for the day, we'd like to thank you all so so much for watching, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. Hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.